Just like I talked with David Fales about him being a very underrated prospect for this 2014 NFL Draft, another quarterback that I think is just a little bit underrated because of certain aspects, whether it be the program that he played for or certain perceptions about him, is A.J. McCarron from the University of Alabama. Now, I don't necessarily view him as the best prospect in this quarterback class. I do not. But do I think that there are too many knocks against this guy who was a very productive player who at times showed the ability to make some big-time plays during his college career at Alabama? Yes, I do. When you talk about A.J. McCarron in his game, you know, he does come from an Alabama program under Nick Saban where it's all about defense and running the football, so a quarterback, by and large, is not going to get the focus or the attention that maybe he should, especially one as productive as A.J. McCarron. You know, this is a guy that won a lot of football games, and you could say whatever you want about it, but ultimately, even at the college level, no matter how good the supporting cast is, the quarterback has to has to be able to step up and make some great decisions and some big-time throws and some big-time plays when his team needs him. And A.J. McCarron, I think, by and large, did that during his career at Alabama. In terms of the strengths of his game, one has to be his size. About six foot three, 215 pounds with really, really big hands, which would suggest that fumbling and ball security won't be a huge issue at the NFL level. And he has the almost requisite prototype size that you would want out of a starting quarterback, suggesting to me that he'll be able to stand tall in the pocket and be a relatively durable NFL player. Um, I love his accuracy. I don't think he's the most accurate quarterback in this class, no, but one of them, yes. But what really stands out when you look at A.J. McCarron is his ability uh, to make the right decision, the ability to be, which sometimes is thought of as a bad term, game manager. He really manages a game well. He really makes good decisions with the football. He very rarely makes bad decisions, very rarely puts his offense in a disadvantageous position. Um, I think his mechanics are solid, even though his windup sometimes is a little bit long. I think his field vision is pretty good in terms of being able to go through his progressions, which helps lead him to make really good decisions. He really protects the football well. So I think there are a lot of strengths to his game. And in general to me, as I was going through and I was grading A.J. McCarron, he really measured well in most of the categories. Two of the weakest categories, though, would be arm strength, which is definitely not the strength of his game. Uh, I watched him, and at times it seemed like he had the arm strength to make all the NFL throws, and there were other times I'm like, mm, not quite so sure. If A.J. McCarron had a stronger arm, we probably would be talking about him as a first-round pick. Don't make any mistakes about that. But it would almost be a lock. The program that he played at, how productive he was, how many games his team won, the leadership and intangibles that he showed to go with his size and to go with his decision-making, his mechanics, his field vision, his accuracy, if he had better arm strength, we might be talking about him as the number one overall pick in the 2014 NFL draft. One other concern I do have for A.J. McCarron, though, and it's a big one, is the fact that he played at Alabama and he played around a lot of talent. And he played in behind some really good offensive lines. And when you go back and you watch the Alabama footage and the Alabama film for A.J. McCarron, you see a lot of times where he is given a hell of a lot of time in the pocket. And I mean a hell of a lot of the time in the pocket. When you have the ability to sit back in the pocket for four, five, six, maybe even sometimes seven seconds and be able to go through your progressions and go through your reads, it's a lot easier to make really good decisions. It's a lot easier to take care of the football. It's a lot easier to go through those progressions and make accurate throws by being able to set your feet and face your target and all those other things. There were times, like especially in the bowl game against Oklahoma, where the heat was on him a little bit, and he didn't show as well. And at times it seemed like he would kind of wilt under pressure. And that's something that's a little concerning to me, especially if a guy is ultimately going to have to make his living at the NFL level as a pocket passer. Now, that's not to suggest that A.J. McCarron can't move with his feet. I was actually a little surprised how athletic the kid was. Sounds funny for me to say kid, but let's face it, I'll be 33 next month. He's about 22, 23. He's a kid compared to me. It sounds odd to say it. But he actually did have some mobility. I was surprised by how much ability to extend the plays by rolling out. And the impressive thing to me is not automatically looking to run, still being able to keep his eyes down the field and being able to go through his progressions and still be a dual threat, you know, threatening people with his feet, but still throwing the football, keeping defenses honest. Now, he's not going to be somebody that makes a ton of plays with his feet in the running game, but he has just enough to be able 
to do what you need to do to be able to extend plays. But that pocket presence, like I said, it's something that's going to have to be addressed. Is he going to have to have a really good offensive line in front of him at the NFL level in order to be able to make those really good decisions, to be able to see the field well, to be able to um, keep integrity with his mechanics? Um, that's a big question, along with the arm strength of whether or not he's going to be able to make all the required NFL throws. Ultimately, I think, again, kind of like a David Fails, even more so with A.J. McCarron, he's going to be best suited for a West Coast offense that will rely a lot on short timing passes and will rely on him to make good decisions, being able to go through his progressions and hit his checkdowns out of the backfield when he needs to. My final grade on him, I sat there and waffled on it a little bit because it almost seemed a little high, so I went back and watched all of his 2013 footage again, and I ended up grading him out from a physical tool standpoint as a 71.0. You know, this is a guy with a with pretty good size, seems to be relatively durable, good mechanics, good field vision, good decision making, good accuracy. He had a lot of things going for him. And like I said, a little bit of a better athlete than I anticipated. If he had better arm strength, if he had better arm strength, like I said, rest assured, he would be a first round pick in this year's draft and he might be in the conversation to go number one overall. There's a lot to like about him. My NFL comparison for him would probably be Matt Castle, a guy that maybe nobody looks at as being a franchise quarterback or being a you know long-term starter for a team, but a guy that some teams would love to have as a backup and maybe could make some spot starts in a pinch. Uh, I think A.J. McCarron has a little more upside than Matt Castle, but again, when I look at him, Castle, pretty good size, good accuracy, um, you know, Adequate decision making. McCarron is probably a little bit better decision maker. Solid mechanics. Uh, pocket presence sometimes. And eh. arm strength. And eh. that's to me the best comparison I could give for an AJ McCarron in terms of his draft stock. I think you could see him drafted anywhere from the second to the fourth round, more likely than not in the third or fourth round. A team looking at a guy to come in and be a backup. Um, he would be a good selection for them with the possibility that maybe two to three years down the road, he could be a starter for them and maybe be a surprisingly good one, a good game manager that makes good decisions and surprises people with his ability to make some big plays in the passing game and extend plays with his feet. I really like A.J. McCarron. Not my number one rated quarterback in this draft class, uh, but not as low as other people are going to rate him, that's for sure.